Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to be starting off with the eyes per usual, and I'm using this NYX Look Set 18 eyeshadow palette, which is actually really pretty. And I'm going to be going in with this really kind of like taupey shade, and I'm going to be applying that as my first shade into the crease. On camera, it looks really light, but in the actual pan, it's like a perfect transition color. So I'm applying that into the crease and it's applying actually rather smooth and it doesn't have a lot of like kick up or fallout so I'm really liking that and next I'm going in with this beautiful orangey color that's in the center of the palette and I'm applying that also into the crease and I'm just going to blend it out I wanted a little bit more depth into the crease and now I'm going in with this like chocolatey brown and I'm going to go ahead and apply that onto the lid and like the outer portion of the eye and I'm going to kind of build up that color to like the intensity that I would like it and then I'm going to grab a different brush and I'm going to start blending out the outer portion of the eye and making sure to blend it outwards and then into the crease and if you lose intensity just go ahead and add more color and then blend it out and now I'm going in with this beautiful shimmer it is so pretty it's like a purpley gray undertone and then it has this beautiful flex of like sparkle shimmer it's such a pretty color and I'm going to apply that with my finger I feel like with your finger it has better payoff and then I'm just going to blend out my crease so that there isn't really any shimmer in my crease and now I'm going to quickly line my eyes with this liner this is my first time using this as well and I feel like it applied rather easily like I didn't have a hard time applying it was actually a really nice formula and it wasn't too matte to where it kind of like tugged on my eyes or just was too drying it didn't like chip off during the day it actually lasted a really long time Time, so I'm really liking this matte liner and now for the skin I'm going in with this number seven skin illuminator for a beautiful glow and it says you can apply it before your foundation or mix it in and I actually really like this product I don't know what it is about it I'm gonna use it a couple more times to really be able to like explain it to you guys but it just left my skin feeling really nice and moisturized and it felt like a really nice primer and it wasn't like a chunky glittery feel it actually left like a nice glow and now for foundation I'm gonna go ahead and mix these two together which I had never done before but I figured I might as well try it out and I actually loved how my skin looked like it was actually very like glowy and healthy because both are very liquidy foundations and I love the formula of both of them but for the pro glow it's not in my shade so I just went ahead and mixed them, got the perfect shade, and I love how it looked. And now for concealer, I'm going in with this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer in the shade 03 Nude Beige. And I'm going in with like a darker color that kind of has a little bit more of like a peachy undertone just because my eyes were a little bit darker today so I really wanted to cancel that out without having to apply too much concealer so I went in with this one and it did a great job of concealing and now I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes with my favorite translucent powder the airspun loose face powder and I'm also going to go ahead and set the rest of my face with this very lightly because it is winter time so I don't want to be super dry but I also want my skin to be matte so I'm lightly setting the rest of my face and off camera I quickly went ahead and filled in my brows and now I'm going back into that palette and going in with that orange shade and that's going to be the first shade that I apply to my lower lash line and I'm just blending it out I find this brush to be perfect for the lower lash line just make sure you have another one to really make sure to blend it out and next I'm going in with that really beautiful chocolatey brown and just applying that to the outer portion of the eye kind of similar to what we did into the crease and now I'm going to get that really pretty sparkly color that's in the brow kit it's such a beautiful color and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the brow bone and since it is very intense I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with another brush just because it was like a little bit too much so I'm just blending it out lightly so it 
blends with the look and looks seamless. And then I'm quickly going to apply that highlight onto the inner corners of my eyes. And for bronzer, I'm quickly going to go ahead and use this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It's my absolute favorite bronzer. It's such a creamy formula and I can apply it when at whatever time, no matter what my skin is looking like, if I'm very textured. It still looks great on my skin and I just absolutely love this bronzer. And next for blush, I'm going to go ahead and use this Burt's Bees Blush in the shade Bear Peach. And I also love this blush for the very smooth formula that it has. It has a light sheen, so easy to apply. It does not skip, it lasts all day, and it's just such a great formula. So I definitely recommend this blush. And now for highlight, I'm going to go ahead and use this Catrice Highlighting Powder in the shade 020 Champagne Campaign. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this highlighter. It is kind of like a powdery formula, but it is absolutely stunning. Like this highlight is such a good one. Like it's so affordable and it gives you like such a pretty glow. It is for more of like the lighter skin tones because I don't feel like this is like a champagne-y highlight. I feel like it's more of like an icy kind of highlight, but the, nonetheless, I absolutely love it. And for lips, I went in with this NYX lingerie. I am not sure how I feel about the NYX lingeries. I feel like it was very moussey and kind of hard to apply on the lips. And I just feel like it was kind of like a drying formula. So let me know if you guys have tried them out and feel the same way. I'm kind of unsure about it. And so now I'm going in with the Revlon Metallic Lip in the shade Gleam. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that over top of the NYX lingerie. So this is the final look. I really enjoyed all the new products that I used on camera. My top products were the eyeshadow palette, the liquid liner, and I also really love the primer, which like was more of like a glowy primer, and the highlighter. Those were my top products from this makeup tutorial, and those were also some of the new products that I tried out. The liquid lipstick, I will get back to you guys on whether I like it or not, but... Yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!